Hey everybody, this is Sheila here with Love Reiki and Healing in Las Vegas, Nevada. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for allowing me to be part of this time with you. Whether it's morning or evening or night, whenever you're watching this video, it's just always wonderful when we can come together and work on our healing. So thank you for allowing me to be part of it. I want to take a quick second and just say um, some of my apologies for not being able to make any kind of videos during, I think, the whole month of February. Um, my family experienced a loss and so I've been working on my own grief and was not really comfortable making a video and I even took some time out of the office to kind of just be in that moment. So I do apologize for it but I thought it was very important for me to kind of work on myself and my own healing for a little bit and I thank you so much for your understanding and your concerns. Um, so that being said, today's video is going to be some Reiki to help us through with grief. Grief is a very heavy emotion. Um, no one can tell you how long it will last. No one can dictate what it should or should not be. And so for every person, it's, it's completely individual and personal how they experience loss or transitioning um, grief. And grief doesn't have to necessarily be someone who has passed on. It could be you know, grief over a relationship or loss of a job or really anything. And so I think it's really important that we acknowledge those and that we're in those emotions and we're in the feelings and we don't block them off and we allow them to flow through us and deal with them in a healthy manner. And so I want to just kind of send some Reiki to you today to support you if that happens to be where you are in this time when you're watching it. And if you're not, then you can still benefit greatly from just receiving the, the beautiful Reiki energy for you, okay? So go ahead and get yourself comfortable. And whether you're lying down or on a mat, on some pillows, in a chair, on a bed, couch, whatever, just be comfortable, comfortable in your space, right? And really begin to kind of focus on your breathing. You wanna make sure you're taking in big, beautiful breaths, holding for a moment and exhaling deeply, really releasing and letting go. Allowing your body to let go of the tension that you may be holding onto. Just feeling relaxed, feeling loose. Oh, another thing too, you're gonna to hear the AC kick on a little more frequently because it's becoming warmer today in Las Vegas. And so the AC comes on a little more. <laughs> Can't do anything about that, but I love you anyway. Thank you. Okay, so you're comfortable. Uh, I'm going to start with our Palo Santo, as always. And if you're not familiar with Palo Santo, it is holy wood, and it helps to kind of smooth out the energies around us. It's very, very, very similar to sage in the way that it helps to clear the air. Um, it's just a little softer in its vibration. And here at the office, um, sage could be overwhelming for people, even at home. So we're going to use some Palo Santo. And just with the intention of sending you all this beautiful energy today. And all you need to do is just be open to receive. Be open to receive the clearing, the Palo Santo, the frequency of the crystals the oil and the Reiki, whatever we use today. And if there's something that you don't vibe with, that's okay. You don't have to accept it. Okay? You can just turn the video off. There we go. Really kind of working that over into your energy. Breathing out. Okay. There we go. All right. And we're going to use our lovely selenite. And selenite is a wonderful crystal to use to help cleanse and clear other crystals. Maybe within a grid, in a space, in a room. But we use this here to just kind of release and remove any cords or attachments or energetic entanglements. That may be where you, around you. Just letting those go. Now we need to be sovereign in your energetic space. Okay, over the crown. Going to the third eye. Over the throat chakra. A lot in the higher heart. Over the heart into the solar plexus and the sacral into the root chakra 
really grounding you in, really clearing away any kind of cords that may be wrapped up in your energy. Okay, just take a breath in and out, letting that go. And the oil we're going to use today is Northern Lights Black Spruce. Now, I started with the intention of using a different oil today, but when I went and grabbed them, this is what I felt more guided to use. So if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love, love, love this right along with the White Angelica. Um, these are Young Living oils. If you don't have it, it's okay. Um, you'll be receiving the same kind of benefits as I'm sending them to you. If you do have it, go ahead and grab that. Um, and if you would like some, there's a link in the description below. But the Northern Lights Black Spruce helps to kind of ground us, right? It's this very, oh, it smells so good. I love it. So, you know, there, just moving around. It helps to ground us. It helps to lift our energy up, right? Um, these trees are grown under the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. And they're huge, deep trees, deep into the earth. And so it is carrying all those properties within it. And for me, I use this in many of my classes. I use this all the time, this oil, and it just helps me feel better, plain and simple. It helps to ground our energy when we may be out of the body. And grief can cause us to be in shock and to move out of the body a little bit. And so this helps to bring us back down in, right, with the intention, of course. But it also opens us up. It opens us and lifts us at the same time. So we're just going to wash this through into your energy. A little in my hair, because I love it. <laughs> Breathing deeply. Okay, I'm just going to start sending some Reiki energy to you. Just breathe and be open. You may begin to feel some sensation in the heart, maybe in your third eye or your solar plexus or anywhere at all is perfectly fine. Just sending you loving Reiki energy, just connecting, allowing the energy to wash over you to help clear and to remove any blockages. To allow you to be in a peaceful place. Okay. There we go. So I have several different crystals I'm gonna to use today. Who knows what I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna start with this itty bitty tiny guy. See, he's so small, right? small but powerful. This is an Apache tear and these are wonderful, wonderful to help work with grief. It helps to pull us out of that space and I know it's so tiny, right? but they are very, very powerful stones to help us in our healing journey. Just sending that to you, allowing you to feel, connect with the crystal. There we go. If you are in a state of grief, helping you to process and move through the very necessary yet uncomfortable feelings you may be having, to lift you out of darker places and sadness. Just breathe, just allowing that energy to work through. Maybe in the root chakra, maybe you're just feeling it in the heart or all around, wherever. It's a really powerful tool to see. This is one of my favorite stones. I know I say that about all of them. I do, but this really is. I even I have a ring and yeah, okay. Udi Light. Udi Light is, again, one of my favorite stones. This is wonderful to kind of move us 
into a place where we're not retaining the pain, that we are working with our emotional body, right? We're not holding on to things physically. It helps us to realize that our healing starts within us. It helps us to focus within and not look for answers outside of us. Not that you shouldn't, you know, receive assistance or help from people. But do understand that everything you need is within you. And this crystal helps us to remember. Remember that beautiful colors. It's love. It's such a very soft vibrational crystal. It, the way that it feels is very gentle. It's soothing. It's like it's going to take care of you. Right? Look how pretty. There we go. I'm just going to send some of that to you. I'm in the Reiki. The Lily light. Right to you. Maybe you feel it in the higher heart, more your heart chakra. Maybe you feel it in the root. Whatever is perfectly fine. There's no wrong answer, no wrong way to feel the energy. You're the one that's experiencing it. And it's whatever you need it to be. Breathing in deeply and releasing. Just being aware of how you feel. Being aware of the Reiki coming to you. It's lovely. Gotta breathe in and release. Okay, so here is a beautiful pyramid and this is just chock full of amazing crystals. So if you can see, there's all kinds of tourmaline. There's pink and black, green, there's shungite on the bottom. Pretty. Okay. I'm just going to send, send through Focused energy, focus Reiki energy to you. Many times grief can affect us in our root chakra, the tree. If it's a member of our family or a close loved one, it can shake us to the core. It can rock our root chakra. It can throw us askew, just knock us right over. And so when we ground, we want to ground ourselves into a healthier place, a beautiful place where we are not so frantic, we're not so in chaos, right? And all those beautiful heart crystals, the rose quartz, the black tourmaline, if you can see those, there we go, the green adventurine, all those are within this pyramid, just benefiting all that beautiful, beautiful energy. Breathing in. Breathing in. Okay. Allowing vibration of the crystals, working with the Reiki energy, working with your energy. Cleansing and clearing, shifting, bringing you into a beautiful space. There we go. And many times, like I said earlier, grief can shock us and can move us out of our body. Or you may find that you feel frazzled. A lot of times I see people in grief with their energy like just just frowns is the only way I can use to describe it where the energy is very much like little raw nerves endings right and so maybe loud sounds or you know things that wouldn't bother you normally maybe bothering you some now and 
it's because your energy is like that it's it's all frayed around you or you're not fully in the body and so it's important that we're just aware that first and foremost you're okay okay you're okay and then when you're ready to be responsible in your energy do things that make you feel good feel better and when you have the feelings that are of a lower nature to be in them it's okay that's how you process them okay, okay. sending really directly to the heart the intention of just shifting any heavier energies any heavier emotions that are ready to be released, that are not serving you, or just to give you a break, just to give you a moment of peace and not feel so heavy, to send you some love and some support. Breathing it in and releasing. here even what an amazing thing okay. here we go okay, just a few minutes more actually I'm gonna do a little bit of the pink tourmaline because oh, you know I love this one and if you're going through some hard emotional times Pink tourmaline is wonderful. Go. Just picking up again a very soothing, nurturing, loving vibrational crystal. Breathing in. Maybe noticing any tension that may still be within your body, even at this point. Letting that go. Maybe you tensed back up. Or maybe opening your heart maybe picturing it a little light maybe a pink light maybe a little flame over the heart expanding and growing and when we expand our heart you're welcoming other people to come in and to love you and to accept that love in its purest sense divine love unconditional love okay there we go wanted to do a moment of that here we go okay all right so for those that want to stay in this energy you are more than welcome stay as long as you like my intention is for the Reiki energy to flow to you for as long as you need you decide and for everyone else who's ready to come on back Bringing yourself back into your body, back into the room. And just being more and more aware. And when you're ready, opening your eyes with a big breath. Perhaps being open, grateful, hopefully feeling even a little bit better. And again, I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for allowing me be part of this time with you and thank you for being part of this time with me i am grateful and i will see you soon <laughs>